Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali, and in this video, you will learn all about the Firebase email and password authentication. Or you can say we will allow a user to create an account using the Firebase authentication process. So a user can create an account, and then we will allow a user to log in uh, by using his email and password into his account. And later on in the upcoming uh, video tutorials in future, we will allow the user to log in using his uh, phone. Okay, so the phone verification we will also do it. Come here to the uh, Android Studio, and here we have created this register activity in the previous video tutorial. So now what we're gonna do? If I go to the register activity. So here basically the user will enter his email and then his password. So we will get that password, we will convert it to string and we will allow the user to authenticate using the Firebase uh, auth. Okay. So for that uh, on our register activity, we have this uh, user email, user password and this create account button. So now what we're going to do, we are going to, we have already cast these um, um, fields uh, in our initialize fields method and we call uh, that method here in our on create method so now whenever the user click on this create account button we have to get the email and password from this field so how to do that for that uh, here we will set a click listener on the create account button so we can say create account button dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click method let's uh, Call a method here by the name you will create that method now let's name this as create new account put a semicolon and let's create this so click here and here you can see this red bulb and then uh, click here on this create new account inside the register activity and our method is created successfully so now here we can say string email equals to and the name of our email field is uh, user email so we can say user email dot get text dot to string so we are basically uh, getting the text from the email field and we are converting that to string and now we will uh, do the same for the password so here we can say string password equals to and then user password and then we will check if either these email and password fields are empty or the user has uh, write something so for that we can say if email if text utils which is this one dot is empty so if the email field is empty then we will uh, just tell the user that is please uh, enter an email so here we can say please enter and now the same we will do for the password so copy this and paste it here and here we can change this to password so please enter your password so if the both are uh, i mean if the both condition are satisfied that is if the user has input the email and password then we will create the new account for the user so then in the else statement so here we need to create a firebase auth so here we can say private firebase auth and let's call this as m auth and then here in our own create method we will initialize this with firebase auth dot get instance and now with the help of this auth in our else statement we can create a new account so m auth dot and you can simply write create user with email and password and it needs two parameter one is the email which is uh, we are converting it to the string and which we are getting from the user and the second one is the password so we will pass that to it then you can say dot add on complete listener new on complete listener so put a semicolon here first so here we can say if the task is successful that is if the account is created or you can say if the user is uh, authenticated successfully then we can say if the task dot is successful so if the account is created then uh, we will display a toast message to the user and that will be 
let's say account created successfully and in case if any error occur then here we can say else we will first get the error type that is which kind of error basically occurs so you can say message equals to and by using the task dot get exception it will get the type that is basically which kind of error occurs okay and then in the task message you will display it to the user and this will basically tell the user that is let's say if a user has already created an account with the same email then it will tell the user that that email already uh, available uh, i mean any type of error if the error occurs okay instead of any uh, simple uh, error message it will display all the error types that is which type of error basically occurs so here, here we can say error and then uh, we can get this concatenation sign and pass this message to here we have to uh, display the progress dialog here so for that let's create a progress dialog here so you can say private progress and you can see here this progress dialog click on that and let's call this as loading bar and then in our uh, you can see this is our initialized field method so go to the initialized field methods and here in our initialized fields method uh, we can say loading bar equals to new progress dialog and it needs the parameter and there is this context which is basically our register activity so now here uh, in our else statement we can display that so we can say loading bar dot set title and the title will be creating new account then we can display the message and that will be loading bar dot set message and it should be please wait while we are creating new account for you and then after that we can say loading bar dot set dot set cancel on touch outside okay the second one and you can see this one so it will basically if the user uh, when the loading bar appears on the screen and if the user click on the screen then this loading bar will not be disappeared until the new account has been created so here we can say true loading bar dot show so yeah that's it and now here if the account is created successfully then we have to uh, dismiss this loading bar that is to disappear this so you can say loading bar dot dismiss and also if any error occur then we will dismiss this loading bar now whenever uh, the uh, account is created successfully then we will send the user to the login activity first for now okay so from there the user will uh, basically log in to his account okay and on the login we will work in the uh, in the next video tutorial so send user to login uh, activity is basically the method which is inside this method we have created an intent that send the user from register activity to login activity and before we test the app go to the firebase project which you created okay and here you can see this authentication click on this authentication and then click on sign in method and now from here first of all let's enable this email and password click save and you can see it is now enabled so make sure to do that and now let's run the app so you can see that our app is running now successfully now let's click on this need new account so this is our register activity and now here let's come to the users and now let's uh, type the email address and then type password let's click on create account so creating new account and this is the message and here you can see account created successfully and it sent us to the login activity and if I refresh this then you can see that uh, my email address is created I mean I uh, am now authenticated so now you can uh, a user can create an account or you can say a user can authenticate uh, himself using the firebase and he can create an account inside our this chat application now in the next video tutorial we will allow the user 
to uh, log in into uh, to log in into this app by providing his email and password okay so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel and see you guys in the next video bye for now